This is how you perform an F test in Excel. And F test is basically used to test the null hypothesis whether the variance of two polar populations are equal or not. Okay, now we have a sample data over here. Okay, now before you do the test, make sure that your analysis pack is on. Okay, and this is your data. I do not have the analysis pack on. The first thing you have to do is turn the analysis pack on. Go into File, go into Options. Within Options, you have Add-ins. And within Add-ins, you have Excel Add-in. Go into, click on this one, Go. And turn this one on, click OK. And now within the Data tab, you will have the analysis, Data Analysis option on. Okay, now this is my data. And the first thing you have to do is start up the data analysis, okay? And what we want to do is we want to have the F test, F test do sample for variances, click OK. And this is where you have to select the range that has the higher spread or the higher variance. And the second one is of course the one that has the lower variance. Now to do that, we have to just cancel this one. Come over here and calculate the variance of your first group. Okay, that's 160. And let's do the same thing for the second group. Okay, so we know that this one, group one has more spread or the, the variance is higher. So let's go back into data analysis. Select F test to sample for variances, click OK. The first range, of course, this one. Highlight that and say, come on to the next one and highlight your second range. Labels, of course, that's your labels, which is group one and group one, uh, group two. And I have labels selected, so I'm going to click on this one, turn this on. My alpha value is 0 0.05. I leave it as it is. Down over here, you have how do you want to display the options or the output. You can either display it within the sheet, just click on a cell, or you can display it in a new sheet or totally into a new workbook. Okay, I just want to have it over here. So I'll just say, I'll just select this one. So I'll click here. And I'll just click over here, E1, and I'll say OK. And that is basically your, your output. So now Excel has calculated the F value, which is the ratio of the first group against the second one. OK, it's basically equal to this one divided by this one, enter, and that's the value you get. Okay, now, okay, now basically, so what we can conclude from this one, since the F value is greater than the F critical one tail, we reject the null hypothesis. Okay, in this case, we have 7.373, which is greater than 6.256. Therefore, we reject the null hypothesis and we conclude that the variance of the two populations are unequal. Okay, so this is how the F test is done in Excel.